Welcome to the Scout Movement. This is going to be a life-changing experience for you. Today, Scouting is probably one of the largest youth movements in the world. In the early days, it started off as for boys only, but with time, the movement spread around the world. It originated in England and initially moved into the Commonwealth uh, countries. Millions of girls and boys, men and women, are subscribing to the message of peace, sustainability and ethical leadership. It all started with the vision of one man that took the world by storm and changed it forever. The founding father, Lord Robert Stevenson Smythe Baden-Powell, known as BP, was a British military man who served in India, Afghanistan, Central Africa and South Africa. Whilst on in active duty, he wrote a training manual called Aids to Scouting. On his return to the UK from South Africa in 1903, it had become a bestseller and was being used by teachers and youth organisations. BP had seen what war can do to people and was determined to promote a culture of peace. While in command of, at the siege of Mafeking, now known as Mafeking, during the Boer War in South Africa, he had been inspired by the initiative shown by boys under pressure. BP saw that a sustainable future for all depended on the younger generation. He realized that the youth had the potential to learn critical life skills and values at an early age, which could help them transform the world and grow into adults. When Baden-Powell returned to England, he realized that there was a potential for training the youth and that they could make better citizens of the country. He then set up uh, his first camp. Now, the Boy Scouts hadn't actually been uh, established, but he took 20 boys from wealthy families and from poorer families, and he took them to a site in England called Brown Sea Island on the south coast. Here, he saw the potential for these youngsters to become ambassadors of tomorrow. He could see that they could be used for peace and they were the next generation. The camp was a great success and from this camp he realized he needed to take his earlier book, Aids to Scouting, and write a book for the youngsters and the young boys of England to be able to follow this program. This inspired him to write Scouting for Boys, which was published in January 1908. This publication sparked a global spread of scouting, which now has grown into the world's largest and most diverse and inclusive youth movement. Less than a year later, scouting had started in South Africa. In the Cape and Transvaal, boys had read BP's Scouting for Boys. Soon the first meetings were held. In 1908, the first South African troops came into existence making these some of the oldest troops outside the UK. Some of these troops are still active today. Scouting began as a program for boys 11 to 18 years of age. In 1916, a wolf cub branch was introduced for children aged 7 to 10. BP's friend and fellow author, Rudyard Kipling, gave permission for the book, The Jungle Book, to be used as a basis for symbolic aspects of the program. In 1918, a branch for young men was initiated wherein service was the central to the program. They were known as rovers. As part of the scouting spirit of diversity and camaraderie, BP introduced jamborees. To this day, these camps continue to unite scouts nationally and internationally. Scouts from South Africa were present at the First World Jamboree in 1920 in Kensington, London. The first national jamboree in South Africa was held in 1936. BP was present to observe how scouting was spreading across the country. In 1930, the scout movement in South Africa was granted complete independence. The Boy Scout Association of South Africa became an independent member of WOSUM, the World Organization of the Scout Movement and was registered with the International Bureau on the 1st of December 1937. South Africa was the first Commonwealth country 
to achieve independence for its movement from the Imperial Scouts. Scouting spread very rapidly thereafter in South Africa. But along separate racial lines. Simply because this was the situation, in, the political situation in South Africa and this is how scouting developed. But there was always one chief scout and each of the four separate associations had a chief commissioner. In 1957, the first mixed contingent of scouts went from here to the Jamboree in England, the 50th anniversary Jamboree. And this was repeated, of course, in 1975. In 1975, a large contingent of boys from various Scout associations represented South Africa at the 14th World Scout Jamboree in Lillehammer, Norway. Due to the national regulations in place to allow them to travel together in London, a jumbo jet was chartered. Where the apartheid regime had kept scouts divided, this jamboree experience was able to unite them and challenge mindsets within the group of youngsters present. This action paved the way for scouting to challenge the exclusivity paradigm in the general community. By that time, the then chief scout, who was called Charles Martin, initiated what he called the Quo Vadis, a program to look at how scouting could be integrated because he realized that scouting could not go on as four separate associations. And I think it's important for people to realize that long before the political situation changed, scouting changed and scouting integrated those four separate associations. In 1977, in spite of the political situation, a new constitution was adopted, integrating all four associations into one organization called the Boy Scouts of South Africa. Scouting became one of the first large organizations in the country to break down racial barriers by being open to all boys and men. In 2000, Scouting opened its doors to girls, making the movement accessible to all genders. By that time, Boy Scouts of South Africa was renamed the Scout Association of South Africa. In 2010, the revitalization of Scouting in South Africa was initiated. Structures and programs were reviewed to enhance the accessibility of the program, inclusivity, diversity and transparency. In 2012, the Scout Association was given its current name, Scouts South Africa. Due to the shortage of adequate childhood development opportunities around the country and acknowledging the need of our membership, a fourth branch was added to the South African Scout Movement in 2019. The Meerkat program caters for children aged five to six. Through its unique combination of adventure education and fun, the scouting program manages to continuously renew and adapt itself to the changing world. With all life's uncertainties, the scout movement continues to bring people together by creating a common ground for good. It continues to be inspirational for young people to become active, local and global citizens, helping them to become the best version of themselves in order to be prepared and to create a better world. As an active member of WOSUM, Scout South Africa brings adventure and growth opportunities to its share of over 55 million Scouts worldwide. Scouting over the years had been successful because of volunteer adult leadership. Young people we will always have. Young people will always be attracted to the activities which scouting offers. But without adult leadership, without dedicated and committed adult leadership, scouting can never grow and prosper. 
And so it is most important that people who offer themselves for leadership understand the importance of what they're doing, understand the significance of leadership within an organization like ours, understand that young people will value and identify with what adult people do and say and believe. Thank you.